Hey guys, how we doing? So, rain again. <laughs> Middle of June and there's rain, but there you go. Just one of them, isn't it? So I've done my boot camp, decent session. Really busy day ahead, so um, need to be super focused and super on point. Um, and then there's something very special happening today. Big celebration. This has been uh, weeks and months coming. So I'm going to get into that in a little bit. For now, uh, show me some love on here, some hearts and some, uh, some likes. And let me know how you're feeling. Pop it in below. How's your week been? What have you been up to? Has it been good, bad? Score, score me out of 10. Give me a number out of 10 how your week has been this week. Yeah? Let me know how you've been. So there's a few names coming on. I can't quite see who just yet. Uh, for now, I'll show you the... Uh, this is my new place to come at the moment because uh, reception's been a bit dodgy. So, really nice place. So, anyway, <clears throat> going to get straight into this. Uh, che, how are you, man? Glad you've got time for me, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, going to get straight into this. So, today's sign-off. Today's sign-off. Today's going to be the day. Yeah, this has been uh, many months of coming. So... Those of you that know my story, I've been uh, coaching one-to-one -one since I left corporate world a couple of years ago. I was that fat guy, I was that 20 stone guy, I was the guy drinking too much, two bottles of wine most nights, uh, suicidal at one point. Turned it all around um, and you know, this is the culmination of that journey. So as I say, um, I've, I've helped and supported transformation of uh, many dozens of men's lives. Um, and now the next stage, and this is very special for me as well because uh, clearly this was a limiting belief of mine, um, coaching to groups. There was something that needed unravelling and something needed overcoming in terms of, uh, there was a fear. There was a fear in my head um, of being, having numerous people on a call in front of me, you know, when you see all the faces and you see, see all people's reactions and everything like that, because I'm very... Uh, is it intuitive or very into detail um, in body language and things like that? Um, just the way I am. So when I meet a person, I'm very, very engaged and I, I see, see everything that goes on. Um, not that that gives anything away or not that, uh, you know, uh, body language is 100% fail, uh, foolproof. But that's what goes on in my mind when I jump onto a group call or I'm uh, doing a presentation to people. I see all the little detail. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it just scrambles my mind a bit when I'm trying to deliver something. So, so that's that. Anyway, that's, that's the reasoning um, why I haven't done groups so far. But now I'm fucking launching into this. We've, we're kicking off Monday. Yeah. So, uh, as I say, super busy today, whereby we're just doing a final tweaks on the app. So it's an app completely separate from social media, away from the noise of social media, away from the distractions. So there's 18 guys in the group so far, um, and there might actually be a couple more over the weekend, a couple more people talk, I'm talking to, or they're talking to me. Um, so we'll probably hit the 20 figure. So 20 guys in, in, a, in an app kicking off from Monday, um, lots and lots of accountability. Um, what, what I was thinking today actually was um, how hard we're gonna push in the first four weeks. Um, and what's going to be the, the, the balance or the blend of comfort versus discomfort. Um, because there's obviously, there's obviously a point there which, um, you know, too much dis discomfort or too much pushing outside the comfort zone can lead to um, overwhelm, you know. Um, and the foundations to, to keel over and collapse. And that's definitely what we don't want. Um, you know, and I've obviously learned that through my one-to-one my -one coaching um, knowing at what point, what points to push for more progress and what points to actually um, restabilize and reset and reset the foundation. So the big thing, you know, my goal by the end of the 28 days for all the guys is to have a solid foundation for the future, be quite clear on their goals um, across the five pillars of Ember, energy, mindset, business, enjoyment and relationships. Um, and to be further forward than they were when they started on the 28 days. Um, but as I say, big thing, have a solid foundation and whatever progress has been made, let's make sure that we don't go back on it. 
So that, they're the key principles. Super excited. Let's do this. Um, yeah, and that's it really. Don't know, really, uh, really, really excited about it. And uh, it's going to be fucking amazing. So last chance to jump in. If you're on the fence, jump in, click the link, give it a go. What's 28 days and what's uh, 99 pounds is all it is. You know, what's that? 25 pound a week, Co cup of coffee a day, as I say. <laughs> uh, jump in, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing that could probably happen is that you might actually be better further forward within the 28 days than you were when you started. Okay, take care guys, have a good one. See you later, enjoy.